Okay, so in this tutorial, we will be installing Active Directory Rights Management Services on Windows 2008 R2, and we will be showing you how to use ADRMS to protect Office 2003 documents so that users cannot copy or modify Word documents that have been protected using AD Rights Management Services. So I'm going to begin by installing the Active Directory Rights Management Services rule on the Windows 2008 R2 server by selecting the particular rule in the Add Rules wizard and then clicking on Next. We won't be using Federation support so I'm going to leave the defaults here selected and we're going to create a new RMS cluster. I'm going to install the Windows internal database which is going to be used to store our configuration files And then I'm going to specify a domain account for RMS. Now this can be any account that you want. I'm just using this particular account since it already exists. We accept the defaults. You need to also ensure that IIS is installed on the Windows 2008 R2 server. Next I'm going to specify the name of the server. We're going to use HTTPS and register the service connection point to SCP immediately. In IIS, I'm actually using a self-signed certificate on the 2008 server. While that is installing, the next thing you need to do is either through creating a group policy object or by manually configuring on all clients you need to specify under the security tab in internet, internet options and under local intranet you need to add the sites the site name for the ADRMS cluster so that it is trusted For the Office 2003 clients, you're going to need to install Office 2003 with at least Office Service Pack 3. In addition to that, if you're using Rights Management Services on the client, you also need to install for Office 2003 the Windows Rights Management Services with Service Pack 2. It's a very small download, it's about 2 megs, 2 megabytes and there's also an update that is required on Office 2003 that is filed under KB978551 once you have those three things the Office 2003 service pack 3 the Windows RMS service pack 2 client and the Office 2003 update you're all set from the client's perspective in addition to having the URL for the ADRMS cluster added to Internet Options Security and Local Internet Sites. Ensure that the client is able to trust the server such that no certificate errors are being generated if you type HTTPS and the ADRMS cluster name in the URL in Explorer. ADRMS does not affect your domain structure in that you don't need to upgrade any Active Directory schemas. All the installation does is create a service connection point entry 
in Active Directory. We can highlight the importance of rights management. For example, if a particular user creates a document here and saves the document and that document is somehow intercepted or retrieved by another user, that user can choose to print the document or email it to someone or take it outside the company and this pro this produces a leakage of information from your organization so ADRMS seeks to address those issues by allowing the user to set policy templates on documents that would define user rights on those documents so for example you could set a policy that this allows any other users or a particular group of users from modifying content or copying content from a particular document or even disabling users from printing a document and when we install the ADRMS client for the user you will notice that under the following URL under the local settings application data you will see a folder called DRM and this folder is used to store certificates for that particular user so our installation has completed and as advised here we need to log off and log on again now we've logged on and we next go to administrative tools and we will see a new applet called ADRMS services the next thing we need to do is under the inet pub www root wmcs certification folder we need to right click on the server certification esmx file then go to security edit and we need to add the AD RMS service group to this location so if I go cancel and under advanced change permissions and include inheritable permissions from the ob from the object's parent and we see that the AD service group has been added and has the required permission on this folder the next thing we need to do is to create our policy templates and to do that we go back to the applet and on the rights policy templates we will see that there are no predefined templates so I'm going to create a distributed rights policy template and I'm going to go add and I'm going to call this one confidential click on add go next and next we specify the user rights this template is going to apply to everyone and we're going to allow other users to only be able to view the document they won't be able to save edit export forward print the document and the author has full rights to the document next time click on finish and that's all we need to do